is hard to put into words the memories that flood one's mind when thinking of the woman we call mother that Dad calls Evie for his wife. Perhaps the thing that stands out most in remembering Mother was her indomitable spirit. She just didn't give up on anything she put her hand to, nor did she give up on people, whether they were family or friends. We can recall some of the stories. I know I heard of the story of how Mother left South Texas and took a Greyhound bus for San Diego, having no money for food, and nursing Sandra, who had whooping cough. Mother was a Great Depression survivor, as was Dad. During wartime, she worked for Roar Aircraft. Years later, she worked for Don Perry. However, we all remember her for getting a group of Girl Scouts started in Bostonia. We recall how she was determined that there would be a 4-H club in Dehesa and a local congregation of the church as well. Many times, she faced obstacles and odds that would baffle others, but she was not a quitter. At 14, I can remember helping Granny and Gramps to move next door at that time, the story of the goose is fondly remembered. Granny held the goose while Mommy drove, Mother drove, but Granny was not careful in which direction the goose's rear end faced. <laughs> so the goose filled Mother's shoe. <laughs> she drove all that way back home. I can remember Mother riding Brother Richardson's tractor around the fields in Dehesa and the chicken coops he had given her. For some time, she raised 500 friars at a time, getting out of the business just before it all went south with California importing chickens from Arkansas. She would laugh and tell the story of Freckles, Paul Springer Spaniel, who held a chick all night after it had fallen out of one of the cages. To the dog's chagrin, the chicken was dead the next morning, laying between the paws with its mouth over the chick to protect it. Mother had a generous spirit and didn't want any of us children to go through the depression that she had done. She would tell of Martha Tut, <clears throat> who had a job during the depression and would let Mother take it once a week so that she could get one good meal. She would tell of going home during her high school days to swallow down a dry sandwich made with Spam. These are just some of the things that come to mind. I can remember finding Mother and Granny sitting over to the side at Anita International Airport, not able to speak Japanese, and wondering if Marcia and I ever would show up. They had come for our wedding, and she 